Hey everybody, I just got the call that uh, I have a loner Tesla Model S at the house. Uh, my Model X has been having some issues with uh, autopilot and I just can't get it to turn on. So I called Tesla and they were awesome enough to actually come to my house with a loaner car and take the X back to get it fixed. And uh, so I'm gonna pull up right now and uh, I'm always excited to see what Tesla's gonna drop off because hopefully it's a new or a different Tesla that I have not tested yet. And I get to, uh, you know, do some acceleration testing and stuff and, uh, and see if there's any, uh, you know, new numbers and so forth. So let's cross our fingers that it's a car that I haven't tested yet. And uh, we'll give it some, we'll give it some tries. Let's see what's about to pull up right here. Let's see what we got. All right, here we go. Tesla is out front. It's a Model S. Looks brand new from out here. It's a, all right, awesome. It is a 100D Tesla Model S, which I have never tested before. So uh, let's go check it out. Hopefully it's, um, cause I know they did a hardware change in the 100D and some later 100Ds actually are faster than the other ones. So uh, let's go check the uh, manufacturer date in the VIN, see how many miles on it. And uh, hopefully we got the new one and uh, we can do a zero to 60. I think it's much faster than the uh, previous 100D. So let's go check it out. All right. Let's see what we got here. So there we go, we got the Tesla 100D. That's great. Haven't tested before. Oh, I gotta go get the key. I don't have the key. All right, let's see. Whoa, look at else we got here. Ha, huh, awesome. So I've been waiting for this. This is the Tesla, well, it's called Dreamcase. So it's a bed that goes in the back of the Tesla and uh, for like camper mode. So uh, the company that makes this had contacted me to uh, do a review on it. So that's awesome, that came in too. We'll have to unpack that and uh, do a video review on this uh, later on this week. So there you go, Tesla Dream Case. All right, let me go inside and grab the key real quick. All right, got the key. Let's see what we got. There's my uh, P100D over there. Looking pretty sweet, and we got the 100D here. Let's check it out. Kids playing basketball. Say hi. That's fun. So let's see. We got a 100D. Let's see what we got here. Ah, uh, there we go. What's new in this update? Easy and chill. Look at that. All right. So that's new. Chill acceleration option i haven't even seen that yet i wonder what that is let's go uh settings are kind of dim let me bring up the uh, displays 100 percent uh day so we can see what's going on there we go that's better so chill acceleration option i haven't seen that that must just be on the uh, like sport mode or standard and chill all right so where is that in the settings Model S, VIN number, okay, uh, controls, driving, there it is, chill and standard, chill mode. All right, I, th I definitely think that's new, so that's, hopefully this is a later model. Uh, let's check the manufacture date. Ah. All right, so there we go, manufactured October. All right. That's perfect. All right, so we definitely have a later model here. And uh, let's see if anything else. This is a nice car, brand new. 300 miles on it, is that what it says? All right, so let's charge it up to 100%. And uh, set charge limit, 100 mode. And uh, we'll go out and let's uh, grab the V-Box and, uh, and we'll do some testing. All right, so that's good news. We got a new P we got a new 100D. This is the one with the upgraded motor in the back, and uh, we're gonna do some. We'll go out the V box and see uh, what it tests out like. Let's get inside the garage here. Not gonna give you my code. Where's the V box? Oh, there we go. In the McLaren. V-Box. 
All right, so I got the V-Box in hand. We will go out and test the Model S 100D upgraded hardware. Let's see what it does acceleration-wise. Should be interesting. All right, so we're off. We are in the Tesla Model S 100D. Uh, this might be the first performance test that I've seen or heard of on the 100D with the new, well, chill mode's actually the slow mode, but standard, well, whatever. There's an update here. We got new hardware. Chill mode, we're not even gonna try that because it's slower. Maybe we can try just to see how much slower it really is. Uh, but uh, we're gonna go give it a test. Um, another thing is that I just booked my flight to Los Angeles to go to the Tesla VIP semi truck unveiling event out in Hawthorne. So super excited to be out there with all my Tesla buddies. Uh, I'll be out there if you see me, I'll have a drag time shirt on at the event. Come find me, come say hi. I love to chat with all my Tesla friends and so forth. So uh, hopefully that's gonna be an awesome event. I got some other things planned out there while I'm out there as well. Uh, but again, if you see me out there, say hi. Uh, see what the Tesla 100D can do. Full stop, V-Box ready. Let's go for it. Here we go. Oh, it seems to pick up pretty good. Oh! <laughs> All right, well, we are not going to be able to do a full test because Tesla left the loner speed limiter on the car, uh, which I think limits the car to 80 or 85 miles an hour. So this thing was rocketing forward and all of a sudden just shut down on me. So, uh, but nevertheless, we'll get some zero to 60 numbers on the car. Zero to 60 miles an hour and the 100D comes in at 3.8 seconds. So that's not bad, that's pretty good. Uh, definitely not uh, ludicrous speed at 2.5. And uh, I could definitely think there's more in it. It came off kind of soft and felt like it kind of accelerated out. Um, but nevertheless, zero to 16, 3.8. I can't get any more performance numbers out of it because of the speed limiter. But uh, so there you go, 3.8. I'm gonna give it one more try. Let's see. Uh, let's see if I can get maybe a little better number. I doubt it, but let's just see. Maybe the battery wasn't warm up. You can't warm up the battery in the 100D like you can the other ones. But I, I bet it really doesn't matter. So, all right, let's give it. Uh, let's do another zero to 60 test on the regular mode, and then we will try the chill mode and see how much slower it slows the car down. So let's get set up. Here we go. No launch control, let's just hammer it. There we go, all right. And again, car cuts off at 85 miles an hour. And let's see what zero to 60 was. 3.7, all right, so car got faster. Again, V-Box rounds up, so that could be 3.69. Not really sure. Um, I will check the numbers when we get back and uh, put that up at the end of the video if it was any faster than 3.7 but there we go 3.7 seconds on the uh, V box and let's give it a try in uh, chill mode and see what we get there oh. <laughs> oh boy very slow ridiculously slow like what is even the point no one wants to drive like that <laughs> All right, let's look. Ah, I'm guessing zero to 60 was six seconds. I mean, that felt ridiculous, but. Oh my, zero to 60 was 7.2 seconds in chill mode. So uh, zero to 60, 3.7 seconds, regular chill mode, 7.2 seconds. It feels really, really slow. All right, so quick edit here. Um, I saw 3.701 or something like that on the V-Box, so I wanted to get 3.6 out of the car. I took it back out, got the battery a little hotter, and got 3.590 to 60 out of the Tesla Model S 100D. So Tesla rates it at 4.1. Uh, they're sandbagging. This car does 0 to 60 in 3.5 seconds. All right, so there you go. There's your test results of the Tesla 100D. A 0 to 60 in 3.7 seconds or better. I'll put the final numbers back up there. Uh, pretty impressive. The car felt pretty strong. I feel like it could have come a little stronger off the line. I think Tesla's probably holding it back not to intrude on the uh, P100D sales, but nevertheless, pretty quick. Bummer that uh, the car was speed limited to 85 miles an hour and I wasn't able to do a full quarter mile test. Uh, again, 0 to 60 in 3.7 seconds with standard mode. And if you want to play with chill mode and be really slow, 0 to 60 in 7 Point two seconds 
not a lot of fun. I wouldn't even bother with it. Again, I'll be in Los Angeles for the Tesla Semi Truck Unveiling. If anyone's going out there, come find me there. I'd love to chat. And that's it. Subscribe for more. We got Tesla P100D versus Performante coming up next week. And I got the Dreamcase bed for the back of the Tesla that I'll be reviewing as well. So subscribe. Thanks for watching.